Bunny no do that. Who? Oh, just... Bunny no. First positions, fellas. Right, lads. Just like we did in rehearsals, yeah? Lots of fun. Keep your rhythm. Take your first positions for the song. When I cue the music, you head straight for the lens. Yeah? Right. Two, three, and... <coughs> action! My name's Dave. My name's Joe. My name's Mick. My name's Dave. <laughs> Dave? <laughs> we, we, he's Dave. All right. What's my name supposed to be again? Mo. Right, Mo. No, that's, that's... I'll never remember that. It's too tough. What, Mo? Mo is difficult to remember? Well, they've all got normal names, haven't they? Joe and Mick and the... Uh, what did you say your name was again? Dave. And Dave. I mean, I'll never remember. What was it again? But Mo's a name in the script. It rhymes right. with Joe. Right. Well, how about this? I'll be Dick, right? Joe and Mick and Dave and Dick. dick dum dee 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 do You'll be Mo. Your name's Mo. Mo. That's, that's too tough. I'll try, but... Well... What's the name of that musical? Five guys named Mo. Get that in your head. That will help you remember it. Yeah. Mo, Come on, let's first positions. Mo, Mo. Mike and Joe and Dave and Mo, 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 Mo. Mo. Right. Mo. Cue the music and action. My name's Dave. My name's Joe. My name's Mick. Five guys called Mo. <laughs> Cat. What's your name? My name. Mo. No, no, your real name. All right, Ronald Villiers. I'm with Woody coming. Oh, here's an idea. I'll just cut my own name down to Row instead of Ronald. And then it'll be Mick and Joe and Dave and Row, 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 Row. You want to you change your name? Ro no, no. You're not changing your name to Row. Right. Right? Now, come on. OK. We'll more. pick this up after lunch. Come on, we'll go to the ending and do the ties and breaks, exhaust what's new. Come on, get your well, things. I'll get remember your... that, Mo. You to... Come on, Ronald. <laughs> <coughs> right, we know this, yeah, ties them. It's all right for you, okay, right, right. Pete. This way's a ton, I'm absolutely sweating. Right, Jim, ready with the music? Oh. And. Yeah, man, action! Man. I'll be right back. Ties! Right! Sword Flags 2! Who fits a quick kiss? We do! Fin Finty 10. <laughs> 50. 50 fans. Do you want me to. So get somebody to ride on, on a board and put it beneath the camera. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> yes, to you. But not to the viewer or the people who paid for the advert. Right. Or anybody else for that matter, Ronald. Okay, I'll try that again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Got a big bead of sweat rolling down my ass and I've got my mouth just soaking. <laughs> I'm not worth a button now. Right, that come on, lads, this yeah. time for God's sake, yeah? Right, yeah? Cue the music, Jim, and action! Sauce Who fits a quick kiss? We do! Hey! Excuse me, my name's Mo. I'm fine. It's a rare drying day. That's a lovely washing you've got out. Aye, aye, it is. Mind you, it's a good job. He's at that age, he's... He's just started masturbating. <laughs> Roger, Whiskey 2, I now have visual contact. Your heading is now 6509er. Six, six, five, zero, nine. Roger. <laughs> Name <laughs> <laughs> They get you, eh? They get you. They get you. Right. Now, you open your books at the page. Well, you know what page it is today, because it's... We're doing... 
reproduction today, right? Now, have a look at the... On there, there's a flower, a female flower, right? You see it. Next to that, there's a male flower with the stamen. And the, um... That, and that's really all there is. Miss? Yes? What's a vagina? <laughs> you can ask those type of questions, Kenneth, when you start bringing a decent bag to school. Ridiculous. <laughs> no. Turn the page over. And there is the picture of a man's... You can see it in front of you. Big. Just draw that picture, right? Draw it. Draw it. The picture of the penis, miss? Yes, that pe... That, yeah. Yes, just draw that. Draw it. Miss? Yes, Kenneth? Do you have any purple crayons? Yes, I do. Uh, some... <laughs> Right, so that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> My mate Joe's a burglar. He burgles houses everywhere he goes. <laughs> You'll never meet a fella that is uglier with his big red face and big fat boxer's nose. Da, da, da. But underneath that very tough exterior hides a little cheeky monkey, heaven knows. For when he's filled his bag with all your valuables, he takes a dump on the rug before he goes. That's Joe! <laughs> <laughs> By this holy anointment and his most tender mercy, may the Lord forgive thee for whatever sins thou hast committed. Amen. Father O'Donnell, Hatchie, Peter, Michael, is this the end? <laughs> <laughs> So this is the office and this will be your desk. Thanks. This seems like a good place to work. Hmm. Well, yes and no. You haven't met the boss yet, have you? No, I haven't. What's he like? Well, how can I put this? He's uh, slightly deluded. He thinks he can make himself invisible. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> I know. Psst, that's invisible boss coming. Right, whatever you do, just pretend you don't see him, okay? I don't think I can do this. Yeah, you can. Just have a normal conversation. <clears throat> so, at uh, around about 10 o'clock, we gather at the kitchen and we have a cup of coffee and a chat, you know? Oh, uh, that sounds good. Oh, wow, Lisa, look, your bag's floating in midair. Oh, wow. How's it doing that? That's amazing. Oh, I think I can hear the boss coming. You like him. <laughs> Thanks. It's OK, it happens all the time. Uh, hello there. I'm Alan Davidson. Nice to meet How are you? I thought I'd pop down and say hello before you get started, you know. I'm very busy at the moment myself, you know, so you won't see an awful lot of me. Oh, All right. That's nice, thanks. OK, carry on. So your stapler's levitating. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> well, Alistair, here we are. South Leach Forest, next to Loch Clunky. Yeah. You know, Scotland's strong men owe a great debt of gratitude to this particular forest. Really? Why is that then, Rory? Well, because of the fresh air here, you see, and the lovely rich soil, it produces some of the finest and indeed perfect cables. That's right. It's amazing to think that this wee forest supplies all the major highland gatherings right throughout the nation. No caper tossing event would be complete without the Strathbeach Caper. And of and course, it's the Rolls Royce. Okay. Oh, absolutely, Rolls Royce. Right. <laughs> Oh, 
What have you got here? Patrick here has just made the purchase of the year, the SYX 4000 DVD. The four speed, Patrick. Very same, Patrick, eh? That's top of the line, Patrick. That's a solid piece of machinery, Patrick. Do you like a drink, Pat? Yes, I suppose I do. I thought so. You look like a man that takes a drink. No offence, I like a drink myself. But you could bounce this off the toilet flare, pour three pints right down it, and it would still give you perfect stereo surround sound. I'm telling you that for nothing, Pat stuff. That's right, Pat McGroin. The DVD scene is pure jump at the moment. Oh, listen to this groin stuff. Listen, the DVDs are flying out of here. It's DVD this, DVD that. I'm pure person to watch a DVD me. Folk are having to duck the flying out the door that fast. Mind your head, Paddy Boom Boom! <laughs> <laughs> There's another DVD flying right into the shop, you mental oriental rice paddy. Missed you be a ball hair there, spicy ricey. Just missed your big greasy napper, you riced up maddy. Oh, I could miss a big football heat like that, eh? Manny pad. Mad mental paddy in the region, funny pad. <laughs> With your big mad mental fanny face. Look at it, man. Look at it. <laughs> Ah, he's DVD daft, that boy. <laughs> you can touch, you can play. If you say, I'm always yours. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic, it's fantastic. You can brush my hair and dress me everywhere. Imagination, life is your creation. Come on, Barbie, let's go. Is this not banter heaven? Oh, James, I am moist. Oh. <laughs> Anytime! <laughs> Got some gold Italian sandals just in. If you... Oh, they're lovely. Aren't they? I seem to have tripped. There must be a loose tile. We'll get that loose tile sorted then. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, look, a floating spoon. <laughs> Such a clumsy eater. <laughs> we one now. Clear for approach. Position two. Moving on. Position one now. Clear for position one. Clear now for position one. <laughs> oh, no, no. Stevie! 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 Pull back! 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 Pull
Me today? Uh, fine, yeah, fine. Is that your lot? Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> are the painters in <laughs> or is the van on its way? Sorry? Your watches. Your monthlies, you know. I don't think that's any good business. No, I'm sorry. No, I do beg your pardon. I mean, we don't always buy. You know, when it's that time. Sometimes we just stock up the medicine cabinet. Yes. See, I can get mine whenever I want, you know. I suppose that's a good thing about being stuck in this shop. Day after day after day. Can I have my change, please? Yes, sorry. I'm on just now. What? Me? I'm on just now myself. Same time as you. Can't be coincidence, can it? I mean, they say that, don't they? Friends come on at the same time. Oh, aye. I was reading it in the Bella last week. Sympathetic menstruation, they cry it. And that's the thing. The last three times that you've been in here buying, you know, do does. I've been planting carnations as well. That makes us friends, doesn't it? I've made this chart reach seat. Look. Me, you and Mrs Gibb all in the same cycle. Must be hell of a close, eh? Here's an idea for you. Why don't you come round next month? Aye, you could both come round here and we could sit and have a wee gab, cup of tea, eat loads of chocolate, maybe have some individual fruit trifles as well. No strawberry ones, though, eh? <laughs> you want locked up? Don't worry. That's just the PMT talking. I'll see you in the 16th, then. <laughs> Hey, Herren, Mützen groben sexy Sprachen mit Telefunkel und teilen 0890 90 Scooterboy. Scooterboy. Helle Sprachen der Nachreiten der sexy Scooters. Hey. 0890 90 Scooterboy. Mit der Größe Helmet. 0890 90 Scooterboy. Scooterboy. Barman, there's not much of your head on that, you know. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Harry. Oh, George, cheers. Did you get any ketchup, George? Oh, sorry, no. Oh. Oh. Did you ask George to get you ketchup? No. No, that's right. George was to draw on his powers of extrasensory perception to know. Oh, there's ketchup in there, Linda. Oh, great. <laughs> Look at the lovely wee monkey. <laughs> Look at the lovely wee monkey. I don't see a monkey in there, Linda. Do you see a monkey in there, George? Linda, point this monkey out to me and George. Is that not a monkey? Do you that's, know, that's an orangutan, Linda. Are they no monkeys? Let me paint a wee scenario for you, Linda, right? <laughs> you're sitting there in front of the man himself, Chris Tarn. You've used your 50-50, you've asked the audience, and you've phoned one of your many friends, and you're sitting there in front of Chris saying, yes, Chris, that is my final answer. That is a monkey. Get a rest, Harry. It's an ape, Linda. Are they not just the same thing? What, in the same way that an elephant and a rhino is the same thing because they've got the same skin? And the way that an alligator and a goldfish are the same because they live in the water. Or the great bald eagle and the humble wasp because they fly. A good job you weren't in charge of the Artlander. Eh? Well, God's like that. How many animals have you put in the Artlander? And you're like that. Six because they're all the same, aren't they? <laughs> that's no job. Right, that's enough, Harry. <laughs> Monkeys have tails, Linda. Apes don't. You're descended for the apes. 
That's right, you see, way Excuse back... Excuse me a minute, George. And you've descended for the apes. Well, where's Linda? She's disappeared and in her place stands Diane Fossey, the renowned authority on primates and their behaviour. <laughs> oh, Diane, Diane, I'm Desmond Morris. Let's do lunch sometime and discuss monkeys, seeing you know everything there is to know about our monkey chums. <laughs> Diane, Diane, what am I saying now? <laughs> what am I saying? Come on, you know how the monkey chum. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm giving it some tea. No, you are not. Read the sign. Do not feed the animals. What is it, Diane Fossey, the blind monkey authority now? Do not feed... Linda, <laughs> give the monkey a banana. Linda, please, give the monkey a banana. Nostalgic, eh, Betty? Aye. Oh, look. No gas mask box. <laughs> they were great. You enjoyed carrying your gas mask in it, eh? No. I enjoyed planking a half bottle in it, son. <laughs> See, in them days, it didn't seem very ladylike to be seen carrying drinks, so... Eh? Well, me and my pal Rose, we just used to whisk the gas mask out and plank a half bottle in it instead, you know? A lot of folk thought we were being conscientious, but we were actually half-pissed most of the time. <laughs> Look at that, eh? The Anderson shelter. Aye. I much preferred them to the other ones, the ones like a steel table. See, you got a lot more cover in them. You could be in there getting it always, and nobody would be any of the ones, I think. <laughs> yeah. You talk about safe sex nowadays, Sonny, but you couldn't get any safer sex than getting pummeled in a bomb shelter, you know? <laughs> well, I'm getting it rare. Air Raider and Air Raid would nip in there for a bit of privacy. I, mean, I kept mine out the bank until what? 1973. <laughs> Let me tell you, see, by that time, it had took a few direct hits. <laughs> yeah, that one's seen a bit of action, eh? How can you tell? Right. You see that dunt? They dunt in the front there. You could use them like stirrups. I mean, say you were in there with a fella, you used to get off with cramps, so what you could do was pop a leg and eat his dunt, and that would get you a deeper humping. <laughs> Betty, maybe we should go and have a look at the trams, eh? Oh, aye. The old sugarly trams. Here, I hope they've got a number 59. That's where I get my first ride. <laughs> Here, Tony. What are we doing tomorrow? Same as that house across the road. Pebble Dash. <laughs> oh, my Pebble Dash, man. <laughs> Mad wee pebbles, man, doing 100 metres. <laughs> Big boulder like that. Oh, a puff. <laughs> pebble puff. <laughs> oh, the pebbles, man. Me first, me first gold at the Pebble Olympics, you know what I mean? <laughs> Up on its wee pebble podium, waiting on its wee national pebble anthem. <laughs> and it's a proud moment for pebbles, standing there with wee pebble tears running down his wee pebble face. <laughs> <laughs> and it all turns sinister, right? And the wee pebbles got to go for a pebble steroid test, you know what I mean? <laughs> Peeing a wee jar like that, man. But the pebbles all nervous, can he pee, right? She's like, Take me pissing a jar, man. Oh, can I get pissed at a pebble? Hey, 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 hey. You've taken that too far. <laughs> right. When I start talking about the sales figures, you hand out those, all right? OK. Here, do you want this for your topic headings? Hey. Oh, look, you've got caught on my shirt, you dick! Didn't you get on purpose? <laughs> I look like a bogging bastard now. Hey! I know you deserved it. <laughs> Got you, you dobber. Is that you slashed me? No. <laughs> He's my tea. Uh, sorry, Victor. Here, I know what that'll be. Here, here. What is it, Jack? Plus one for my kill paint. Jimmy. 
Ah, that's a rare helmet you've got there, son. What kind of bike are you on? Susie 400. Susie 400? Ah, I used to love the bikes, ah. Used to cut about in the old Norton Dominator, you know what I mean? Ah, I mean the missus used to take it up way past I the upper. plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Jack, what is that you've been buying? Oh, I got it off the internet. See, this is the way you want it, wrapped up in a brown paper. So nobody knows, you see, you're not allowed these in this country. <laughs> Manky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aye. <laughs> This'll sort out these wee bastards across at the shops. What, a remote control for the telly? No, 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 no. The Electro Justice Sting Charger 2. Enjoy the freedom once more, no longer at the mercy of muggers, villains and rogues. Oh, <laughs> that's absolutely smashing. How does it work? Right, well, what happens is, say you're going out there, right, mm. and there they are, the wee bastards, right, and they say, right, give your pension book, right? Well, you just give them a wee nip of this. Boop! <laughs> on your way! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, I've not a shot at myself. Let me yet. see the thing. No, hold on a minute. Jack, don't it just. Oh, 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 no. I've killed him, oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 Jesus, Jack, what happened to me? Oh, this bloody thing. I didn't realise the voltage was so high. It's all right, it's all right. You oh. wanted to know. Help oh. us up here. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, then. Oh. 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 That's a bloody lethal weapon, Are you all right? Hi, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's no harm done. Ah, oh, well, give that to me, cos I'm going to put it in the bin. All right. There you are. <laughs> Well, that's that, son. That's my Jim dead and buried now. You'll miss him, won't you, Mum? Oh, aye. Aye, I will. But, you know, in a way, he'll always be with me. Thanks to the webcam I've installed in his coffin. <laughs> oh, I'll give my darling. Lisa, somebody must have left that window open. There's a terrible breeze blowing in. Where's my pen gone now? Oh, look, it's levitating. And look at that apple juice. It's, it's disappearing into thin air. Apple juice? That's not apple juice. That's my sample for the doctors. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for being here today. Nice to see you. Um, we're going to be looking at the projections for the next five years and some of the levels of profits and losses, of course, we'll examine them as we get through them. Uh, my friend and colleague here, Scott, is going to hand out these projections to you now. Uh, I'd be grateful if you had a little look through them all. Thank you.